Today we're fixing my biggest mistake on YouTube. What's up guys, we're back with another video that may or may not be epic. You guys may remember that recently we had a little issue when it came to opening up a certain product on my channel. I then followed it up with a video talking about my biggest mistake on YouTube. Today we are fixing that by opening a magic mystery power box with a chance at an original magic legends pack we're also going to be doing this as a versus battle i'm going to be opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh mystery power box and we're going to pit it against this magic power box that i found at walmart we're going to do a head-to-head -head battle and see which is better now this uh mystery power box here cost 25 the magic one was 50 so i guess that's because this could be in there or i mean the other product was a thousand so Maybe it's just more expensive for no reason. We're gonna have the totals up on the screen, but keep in mind that one of them is double the price of the other. So I guess if the magic doesn't double our price, then Yu-Gi-Oh would technically win percentage wise, but keep that in mind. We're gonna do that. We're gonna open up both of these, see what we can get. If we do actually pull one of these, I don't know what the actual one in 10, it's actually not that bad. Okay, the, the chances aren't too bad. I'm glad there's an actual ratio there. So if we get this, that would be pretty insane. If we don't, we're just gonna have to see what we pull. The giveaway for this video will be everything we pull in both power boxes, both Yu-Gi-Oh and magic. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications let me know what you think about this dual tcg opening do you want to see more from different tcgs like one piece pokemon magic you know all this stuff like that let me know in the comments let's hop into the opening i'm pretty excited for this all right so how we're gonna do this we're gonna do like one item at a time first let's check this out this has four set boosters one collector booster two promo cards so it's gonna have five packs two promos uh not too many packs actually so like ten dollars a pack i mean that's not very cheap, but Bar Magic does tend to have really expensive products. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, we of course get our two booster packs, two duelist packs, which are the smaller packs. One legacy pack, one deck, and a mystery item. So I guess we have five, and then a mystery item is usually another pack, so we could have six. So pretty similar in terms, so I guess we'll open one Yu-Gi-Oh pack first. These tend to not be very mysterious, they tend to be the same packs over and over. I did hear from MTG Unpacked that these are pretty bad. I asked him, I was like, before I do this Magic opening, is this product canceled? And he told me, no, it's not, but it kind of sucks. So I was like, okay we'll check it out so we're gonna have to find out just how bad it sucks so far let's uh let's open up the Yu-Gi-Oh pack here let's see what we can get let's see if we can get uh you know of course we're gonna get legacy packs here but as you guys have seen recently on my channel they're reprinting all of these old school legacy packs in booster boxes so we have that to look forward to even if we don't get anything here okay our first pack out of here is a duelist pack Yu-Gi probably our worst one we're gonna get out of Yu-Gi-Oh but they're always in here because, you know, they just got to get rid of them. Hopefully this is our worst pack because this just isn't... There's nostalgia cards, but there's not really any value in here. So we got a Buster Blader, Big Shield Garden. We've said it many times, no Ultimate Rares, unfortunately. Queen's Knight, Diffusion Wave Motion, and Card of Sanctity. So we are probably adding nothing to our total versus the Magic opening. All right, time to open this thing up. Let's see what we can grab out of the MTG Mystery Box. Only the set, like one of the few MTG products I've ever opened, but the other one now doesn't exist, so you cannot see it anymore. So this technically could be my first MTG opening. Maybe I've opened one other time. I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, let's grab. I don't know how to do this. Let's just get one. Okay, we have the Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Innistrad, I think you would say. So Innistrad, let's see what we can pull. Will it be Yu-Gi-Oh? Let me know in the comments. Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic is going to win? I want to know what you guys think. I'm going to be having to look up the prices here because I don't really know a whole lot about the magic stuff but or in terms of the newer stuff especially what is this this is some sort of art series okay i mean that's pretty cool i like that that's pretty sick why does this remind me i i don't know why kind of reminds me of necro valley I, it, it doesn't even really look like it but for some reason it does there's a planes that is literally in black and white that's pretty cool we got the ardent elementist the electric revelation otherworldly gaze jack o lantern Halloween. This must have been a Halloween set. Gotta be. Ritual of Hope. The Join the Dance. The Cortonian Trope. Bird Admirer. There's a lot of cards in here. Tro oh, wait, wait. Where am I supposed to be looking for this? It's at the bottom. Okay, common still. Tavern Ruffian. Oh, Rux and Special. Oh, no. We Rux and Special even in Magic. Wait, what does an M mean? That that's, was a C before. Now it's an M. This is a Jack O' Lantern Hollow. That's a common. This seems to be like a reverse foil or something, maybe? No, here's the rare. Okay, so this is a rare, but it is not foiled. So the it's like a reverse foil like Pokemon. You can get a non-hollow rare. Very interesting. All right, so this M stands for mythic rare. Now that now that I hear that, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I think this one is close to a dollar. This was our best card in the set, or at least that we pulled so far. Not in the set, for sure, but it's not even a dollar. So nothing too crazy there in the magic pack. Let's move on, see what we can get out of Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Next pack out of Yu-Gi-Oh! What will we pull? So far, it's like 0-0, I think. We're not looking too hot. This is our giant card. Oh, my goodness. Our extra thing is a giant blue eyes, which may or may not have like a dollar or two value. We'll have to look that one up. Not great. I still have yet to pull one that's not, you know, a giant blue eyes. So it hasn't been great so far for that. Let's see what the next pack will be. It is a Duelist Pack Kaiba. Okay, we've had great luck with Duelist Pack Kaiba recently. We always seem to pull the CED. We haven't pulled any of the other ultis in a long time. I'm down to pull that every time, though. Polymerization. Let's see what we can get. Familiar Knight. Sword Stalker. We need some value on one of the sides here. We have a cloning, all right, and then a different dimension dragon. So the good side for Yu-Gi-Oh is, you know, since they're half as, you know, cost half as much, even if we, it's 0-0, zero, zero, we win because they needed to double us up and they didn't. Okay, not great there. Our duels packs aren't doing so hot. We've got another big looking pack here. We got Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths, 15 card collector booster. Collectors, nice. All right, let's see what we can get out of here. The best card according to the price guide here is... Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. He's a mythic. We got a Mothra, Supersonic Queen as well. Oh, whoa. Are these all hollow? What is going on here? We're hollow right off the bat. We have a feather. Not going to lie. That's a really cool looking hollow. That looks nice. Okay, they're all hollow, it seems. That's pretty cool. So that's a, what is a T? Is that a token maybe? Yeah, token artifact. Sorcery, Memory Leak. That's a common. Heightened Reflexes. Bloodfell Caves. Deadweight. Okay, cool. Got a Frill Scare Mentor. That's an uncommon. Very nice. We got the Clash of Titans. Awesome. Another uncommon. An island. That's a beautiful island. I really like that. That looks nice. Herald of the Forgotten. That's a regular rare. Okay, so it's not hollow now. This is a rare. Herald of the Forgotten. Then a, another rare. Okay, there's so multiple rares in here. Uh, Kogla the Titan Ape. So this must be the one where they collab with uh, Godzilla or whatever. Kogla, we got a Vivian Monsters Advocate. So these are now hollow again. This is a mythic. That's good. So a mythic. We're going to have to check that one out, see what it's looking like. The Migratory Great Thorn. This looks like a Rancor from Star Wars. Okay. Nice, nice. A Huntmaster Liger Uncommon. We've got a Vivian Monsters Advocate. Look at this, like, no border artwork. That is really nice. Another mythic. We're going to have to check that one out. Mothra Supersonic Queen. Wait. Are there multiple versions of this? Because this is the $30 card. <laughs> I think that's a good card, unless there's multiple versions. we got to check that. Cavern Whisper. Okay. You guys will already see on the screen what, what I've decided in terms of the value. That looks super cool. I really like the look of these, man. These are nice. But yeah, according to the price guide, this is like the number two card in the set, around $30. Mothra Supersonic Queen. That's kind of insane. So we pulled that. Multiple mythics. mythics. There we go. Three mythics in one pack. I guess that's a thing. There's multiple rares as well. All right. So these cards are worth like almost 4 40 bucks put together. By the way, I just noticed these are the same card. One is borderless, one's not. It's actually kind of sick that they have both of those. That was an insane like, pack right there. That was awesome. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh, you're in trouble. That was a that was a big pack. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. All right, what can we get? We got Dark Saviors. I really, we're gonna have to pull something huge to even have a chance now. Like that was actually insane. Like there were so many car like value cards, and there was like four of them. Quick booster. We got the Seal Strategist for hire. Very cool for hire card. Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. Reinforcement of the army. Pretty cool. And a Vampire Domination. I don't think any of those cards. Maybe Rhoda is over a dollar, but I don't think we've even scratched yet for Yu-Gi-Oh! So, it's not looking good. Back to the Magic the Gathering. So far, I'm not sure. I don't think we got the... Uh, oh, there's our promo card. Valkyrie Harbringer. We're going to have to check that out, see if that's worth anything. But it's definitely warped, so not looking too good there. But another uh, MTG card. Pretty cool. Did we get the Legends card or pack? I don't think we did, but we're going to see. Another Midnight Hunt. So, we've opened one of these before. Two of the same pack, a little interesting that we're getting at uh, repeats and stuff, but this one did have a pretty big potential card. It's like 50 something dollars in there. All right, which was bigger than the last pack, which only had like a $30 card. Okay, here's the extended art. You love to see this. I really do like this. I think that looks cool. We've got another island in the black and white uh, artwork. Path to Festival. Festival Crasher with a <laughs> pumpkin on his head. All right, Brimstone Vandal. Immolation. We've got the Cather's Call. Very nice. Ritual of Hope. Are we on to the... We're on to the uncommons. Okay. We got the Lunark Veteran. The Harvestide Infiltrator. That's a common. Curse of Obsession. That is a rare. Okay. We're going to have to check that one out. We've got a Wake to Slaughter. Another rare. That is horrifying. Reminds me of Naruto. Um, Naruto Shippuden. When they bring all the guys back with the... Whatever the Jutsu is. You know what I'm talking about. Abandon the Post. That's a reverse hollow, I guess. And then a Tortured... Ex what is this? Why does this look like an older card? 
tortured existence is a different text interesting i don't know what this is. i just knocked the rares off but that's a cool looking card we're gonna have to check this out as well and see if it's any of these are like value all right after a little research it seems like they actually randomly inserted old magic cards from across magic's history is what they said and this seems to be one of them I don't know if this is like a reprint. This seems like it might have been an old card. Look, it has a little ding on it. This was like, I think it's like almost three bucks near mint. It's called The List where they inserted a bunch of stuff. So you can tell from this logo down here that it's, it seems like maybe it is a reprint uh, that they just uh, reprinted a bunch of old cards. So that's actually pretty cool. It's like one in four boosters to get one of those. So not a bad pull there. All I can tell you right now is Yu-Gi-Oh is getting destroyed. It is not going well. Let's see what we can get in this next one. We have, okay, we have an older pack, Dimension of Chaos. We could potentially pull a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, Secret Rare out of here, something like that. That's what we need to bring us back because right now it is a beatdown. If I have calculated the prices correctly. Samurai Soul Warns. We got a Dr. Frank and Derp at it again. Dark Contract with errors kaiju capture mission super heavy samurai drum ignite veteran oh ho, ho, no way i did the pack trick wrong black luster soldier super soldier that's pretty sick it's not the ultimate rare version but this is still i think a few bucks that'll definitely put us on the board awesome artwork as well black luster soldier super soldier we're taking that. Not bad for the Yu-Gi-Oh side. We finally got something. And don't forget, you can win all these cards in the video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Do all that stuff I said at the beginning. Couple more magic packs. I think maybe two more. Is it two more or one more? Oh, wait. We have another promo card. We have a Cleaving Reaper. Maybe that was it. And then we have one more pack, I think. No, we have two more packs. Okay, let's open uh, this one. This is a Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. A 12 card set booster. Very cool. All right, it's time. Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. Let's go. I have no idea how long this video is because I've been like recently searching throughout the entire video trying to figure out what i've actually pulled in terms of the magic stuff here we go it's redemption time though we got to redeem ourselves magic the gathering baby oh that is sick that is really cool i don't know what these are used for but they're really cool you can use like field centers i guess for Yu-Gi-Oh. i mean that'd be kind of sick all right we have a swamp at it again mimic very cool that is wow that's pretty cool that's like the uh the treasure chest thing in uh in yu gi -Oh, the old card yeah really old card hired hexblade Horde Robber. Very nice. Thieves Tool. Rally Maneuver. Don't give up. You are stealing fire and victory is yours to seize. They have vanilla text on regular cards. That's really cool. Monk of the Open Hand. That's an uncommon. Ray of Enfeeblement. Another uncommon. Devoted Paladin. So it goes commons, uncommons, commons. It's kind of weird how that works. What's next? Another common. Spoils of the Hunt. Next is a... Rare, Triumphant Adventurer. Okay, he's not a hollow or anything. Can the rares ever be hollow? It feels like they're always not. Okay, maybe it's just in that slot. Then a Foil Spiked Pit Trap. That's a pretty nice looking card. And what is this? A land. Okay, it's a land, right? Okay, I didn't see any Mythics in that pack, and this is not a great rare. So that was probably our worst Magic pack so far, but we've been so good so far, we can't complain. Still what? What do we have left in here? The deck and a pack? Okay, the deck we get is the Mechanized Madness, of course. This is probably worth around 10 bucks, so we can add that to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tally. That is a good thing for the Yu-Gi-Oh! thing. It's like a guaranteed $10 value, no matter which deck you get for the most part. All right, one pack left of each. Let's open the Magic pack, and then we'll open our final Yu-Gi-Oh! pack. We have a... Okay, so we did not get a Legends pack. One in 10 shocker i know not not that crazy but we have another adventures in the forgotten realm let's see what we can pull let's get a mythic in here that's what we want something cool and foiled too would be nice let's see these actually open pretty easily which is cool we got a treasure all right treasure oh why is that backwards is that supposed to be like that that's weird okay then we have uh what appears to be a giant monster which reminds me of paleozoic cards and one of those i think it's hallucinogenia especially we got a forest pretty nice dejini windseer nice charm sleeper soul knife spy scion of stygia monk of the open hand ray of enfeeblement we've got warlock class i've never seen one of these where it's like a multiple like sections of text that's weird Hill Giant Herd Gorger. If you guys know anything about magic, you guys can you guys can enlighten me in the comments so I can, you know, learn for the next time if we do this again. Next is 50 feet of rope. Very nice for the uncommons. And a Zalto Fire Giant Duke. That's a rare. And then is this a foil? Celestial Unicorn. That's beautiful. It's just a common, but I really like the look of it. it looks nice. Let's see if this Zalto is any good. He doesn't appear to be that great, but we really cannot complain after how some of our magic packs went. But that's okay. We really want Yu Gi Oh to win anyway, right? So let's see what we can pull in this last pack. Should be our legacy pack. Let's see. 
a Legend of Blue Eyes. What better way to finish it off? All right, Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Let's see if we can pull the most epic card. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I think I actually I think I need to go three and then swap these or something like that. Let's do that. Legendary Sword. M Warrior Numero Uno. Remove trap. Very nice. Skull Servant, a skeletal ghost that isn't strong but can mean trouble in large numbers. Pretty cool. We've got Mountain. Skull Red Bird. Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Steel Ogre Grotto, numero uno. And the final card. Wait, is this a rare? Stop defense. Okay, not a great Yu-Gi-Oh! opening, but a pretty awesome magic opening, redeeming ourselves, hopefully, from that awful, awful time we had recently. So, if you guys enjoyed this versus video, if you want to see maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Pokemon, maybe we'll do all three Yu-Gi-Oh! magic Pokemon, we can bring in some new ones like One Piece and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. I'm looking to do some fun stuff, and I had fun doing this, checking out a card game I don't usually do. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shoutouts to Tone Fosho, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Anana Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.